This tutorial is all about cement and how it's made and also about concrete and how concrete can be made stronger by reinforcing it. At building or DIY centres you'll come across these bags of materials such as cement, mortar and ready-made concrete. Which one would you choose for which job and what's the difference between them? This slide shows some of the objectives that you need to cover as part of your GCSE. Particularly, we're looking at how cement is made and how concrete is reinforced to make a material which is far better than non-reinforced concrete. Nowadays, cement is made in a large rotary kiln such as this one. You get an idea of the scale when you see the size of the doorways in the distance. The raw materials for making cement are dried clay and crushed limestone. These are heated together in this rotary kiln at very very high temperatures where a chemical reaction happens to make cement. The cement which comes out the other end is in the form of lumps called clinker. It is then crushed and powdered before it's sold as cement powder. So cement is made when limestone and clay are heated together. Cement is then used as a raw material for making other materials. When mixed with sand and water, a chemical reaction happens which sets the mortar to glue bricks together. If cement, sand and aggregate, which is small stones and water are added together, this gives concrete, which might be used for example for the foundations of a building or for setting a post uh, in the garden for a garden fence. Reinforced concrete is cement, sand, aggregate, water and steel rods running through it. This is a much tougher material which is used for girders and for heavy construction. This shows a piece of reinforced concrete. The concrete is set around some steel rods. Sometimes on large pieces of reinforced concrete there's a cage of steel which is embedded within it. This picture shows a reinforced concrete slab being constructed for example for the base of a factory. The construction workers have laid down a mesh of steel rods and have then poured the concrete over and through these rods in order to make the reinforced slab. Reinforced concrete is what's known as a composite material. A composite material is made when two or more materials are combined together. These materials have got very different properties, but when they're combined together, they make a material which is better than either of the individual materials. It's not like an alloy where two materials might be melted together and no longer can you see each of the individual materials. In composite materials you can still see the large scale pieces of each material but the combination of the two is what makes the stronger or better material. Concrete as a material in its own is used extensively in construction. It's very strong in compression and this means that you can put a lot of weight on it and it won't crush. It's also very hard which means it won't scratch easily. Steel is another material used extensively in construction for example for making the framework of new buildings. It's very strong in tension that means that you can pull it or try to bend it and it will flex a little. But it won't break. A disadvantage of concrete is that it's very weak in tension. Let's imagine that this concrete block on the left has been constructed for standing a car on in the back garden. It would originally have been laid down on a solid bed of earth and therefore it would have taken the weight of the car. However, over a period of time the rain has washed a lot of the soil away from underneath the slab. The weight of the car on top tries to flex this piece of concrete but of course it's very weak in tension and has difficulty in flexing. Rather than being able to
flex like a piece of steel, what happens is that cracks appear in the bottom of the concrete where it's trying to scratch. And these cracks eventually become embedded in the whole piece of concrete and the concrete cracks. So, although concrete is very strong in compression, its disadvantage is that it's weak in tension. Steel, of course, has the advantage of being strong in tension, but its disadvantage is that it's expensive. To make a large girder completely out of steel is very pricey. So, reinforced concrete is used because it combines the compressive strength and the hardness of the concrete with the tensile strength and flexibility of the steel. It gives the reinforced concrete slab a little bit of give and stops it from cracking. Here are two other examples of composite materials. The plastic for this car body, for the toy car, would be too weak unless it was reinforced with these glass fibres. This glass reinforced plastic or glass fibre is a much tougher material than the plastic on its own. Plaster is a very brittle material but it could be sold in sheets if surrounded by paper. The paper gives it additional strength. So in summary, reinforced concrete is a composite material because it combines the properties of two materials making an overall material which has got better properties than either.